Callio there. Now, where do I start with this? Where do I start? Oh no, what are Microsoft doing? Seriously, it is dead. These Surface products are virtually dead on arrival. So you want to upgrade that Windows Home to Windows Pro or just get killer prices on Windows Office 2016 and cheap gaming keys, head on down to 09. Make sure you copy and paste my code from the description to get a price that's going to make you go woo! I mean, let's talk about the Surface Studio. It looks like a brilliant device. But can you believe it comes with a quad core in 2018? It's going to be 2019 soon. This won't even be out for like a month or so. Quad core, quad core, no six core. All right, it has a GTX 1060, it has a GTX 1070. That's great, you know, faster SSD storage, up to 32 gigs RAM, which is probably a bit light for a desktop. You should be supporting 64 gigs here, but come on, quad core, what the? Now, I don't know what Microsoft are thinking. Do Microsoft think that we are stupid, really? just putting out these products with old processors. Let's get to the Surface Pro. So the Surface Pro, new color, great. Black, looks friggin' awesome. New displays, they are brighter, better battery life or whatever. But come on, what? No Thunderbolt 3 and you're using last generation parts? I mean, they're not last generation, they're current generation at the moment, but they're using the current Kaby Lake R processors, which are eighth generation. But they're not using the Whiskey Lake parts. And these things are going to be coming out, what, in a couple of weeks? Whenever they're going to be released? You can pre-order all these products now. But no Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C. And they're using Kaby Lake R. They're not using Whiskey Lake. Now, I said I was going to be annoyed if they were actually going to use the Kaby Lake R or the 8th generation processors instead of Whiskey Lake. And, yeah, I'm annoyed, you know... Do Microsoft think people are stupid that, yeah, they're not going to notice that you don't have USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 and you're using older processors? Like, I've paid out on Apple for doing that before. I'm not going to go light on Microsoft here. Now, the reality is I still will have to recommend this if you want this type of device because no one else makes this Surface type of device as good as Microsoft. And the difference between Kaby Lake R and Whiskey Lake, or they're probably going to still be called Coffee Lake, whatever, is very minute. There's not that much difference. It is guarded against Spectre. So these processes you get in here will not be guarded against Spectre. Well, it will be patched in Windows, but the architecture is not guarded against it. But come on, what are you doing? Like giving us old processes and, you know, no USB-C Thunderbolt. I mean... The reality is it's still the recommended device here. It's still going to be a good device, but friggin' hell, like seriously. Then you got the Surface Laptop, and it's called Surface Laptop 2. Why? Just for a, like a refresh on the screen, just a bit brighter screen with more contrast. And what? A processor bump? It's called a second version. I mean, come on. 14, these do have good battery life. I will say that. So although I'm paying out on these laptops, they're still great laptops, but they are friggin' expensive. Let's configure one. Let's configure one of these laptops. Let's go 16 gigs, i7, 512, 3,299 Australian. What's that? XPS 15, 2,499 uh, for the same thing. And they will have new models with the latest generation CPUs very soon. They'll be dropping those in here, the... Um, Whiskey Lake CPUs, so you'll get it for like cheaper. And this has ports, Thunderbolt 3, it has micro SD, it has all the ports you want. And you can upgrade the SSD, whereas these Surface products, forget about upgrading anything. Um, they're sealed in. So I'd like to say I'm very disappointed with Microsoft giving us what will be old processors when these come out. Not giving us Thunderbolt 3, not giving us USB-C at least, and having a quad-core in the Surface Studio. What? A quad-core in a desktop in 2018, nearly 2019. That's just... Anyway, does anyone want me to review any of these products? I'm not really that hyped, to be honest. I probably could order a Surface Pro, maybe, or the laptop. Um, let me know. Um, bit disappointed. Let me know in the comments what you think. Please, let me know what you think. Anyway, tell you. See ya.